Okay guys, so here's what I want to show you. Open up your photos app or show whatever photos are that you've taken. These are all my photos of our um, of our master's studies that we can work with. Also, I have my photos here for my slideshow, my elements of art, okay? Now I wanna show you a couple of things that are like, meh, this photo's so-so. It's a photo of the star on top of my Christmas tree, um, but it's not a great photo of it. And if I'm trying to use it to show line, then it's definitely not a good photo example. I would recommend that you retake a photo like this. You get closer, right? You maybe even adjust your camera a little bit, right? So this is the very first one I took and I thought, well, it works, it shows line, but in the background, see at the bottom, you can kind of see the trim of my ceiling, how it's that brown area and actually the very, very bottom has a little bit of blue. That's the blue paint on my walls. <clears throat> so I retook the photo and I cut out those distracting parts, okay? So that's what I would recommend when you're taking photos is pay attention to the things surrounding your object as well, okay? Um, and if too much is surrounding your object, then they're probably distracting items and objects that don't necessarily have to do with what you're trying to show. So something like this, not my best image, okay? Something like that, better. I like that one best. Anyway, so here's another one. This is, I took this one to show space. This is one of my children's uh, books that I have on the shelf downstairs because it's got the cutout hole and it reminded me of negative space. And I thought, ooh, that's an interesting representation of space. So I took a photo. However, there are some distracting things in the background. You can see over on the right hand side, I have a Hot Wheels track, down at the bottom I have a different book and my hand is on there. Um, so I retook the photo a couple of times, right? And I wound up with this one. I think this one is best, but still um, I wanna work with it. I don't like that it's crooked on there. I don't love seeing my hand in it. Well, so I'm gonna do some editing. So when I hit edit, here's what I have. And here are the main suggestions I have for you. You guys have these options in your editing if you're on a phone. Okay. If you're doing this on a computer too, you can also edit, but find the area where it says crop. Okay. And when you crop, you have the ability to adjust or straighten things. So you can choose if you want it to be uh, more square to the frame of the photo itself. Right. Or if you want to leave it kind of crooked. Okay. I'm going to square it up. And then from here I can crop as well. I could also adjust, right. If it were like upside down. Right. Um, I'm going to bring these in a little bit closer so that I can see um, a little bit of the space behind the book, but not much, okay? Because that's what I feel like, okay? Also, that helps me feel like the rest of the photo is a little less distracting by kind of cutting out those other things. Now, the true focus of this photo is the negative space that's been cut out in this book, in this picture book, okay? Um, so here's another one. This is kind of a so-so example. Not, not great. Um, what is this even? Jeez, sorry. Uh, what is this even a photo of? Am I looking at my feet? Am I looking at the floor? Am I looking at uh, the gecko mobile there? Who knows? So let's retake it. There we go. Now you can easily tell it's a photo of my slippers. Um, it's easy because the focal point is larger. It fills more of the frame. It's my slippers. Um, that is a little too close because it shows the texture really, really well, but I'm not quite even sure what I'm looking at. It's a little strange. So I went back to this one and this is the one I'm gonna stick with because I kind of like that I can see the edge of my feet, right? And the edge of my jeans. It signals to me that, oh, it's slippers, okay? This one, you could look at it and be like, well, is it the couch? Is it a sweater? Is it a pair of fluffy socks? Like, what am I looking at? I like this one best. So you pick and choose, but I will say things like this, not great. This is very sloppy and it doesn't take any effort to take a photo like this. Um, you can look around and see things, but when you're trying to represent it as the main focal point in a photo, you should adjust a little bit, okay? And you can do that just by cropping. Like I could crop this photo um, by just cutting out the edges, right? But it would have been easier just to take a better photo in the first place. So, um, Anyway, I'm going to cancel that because I want to save it as my bad example, right? Or one's like my Christmas tree there, right? Like, not the best photo. I could crop it down to make it better, but I could also have just taken a better photo to begin with by getting up close, okay? So, those are my tips for good photos for your Elements of Art slideshow.